¿Qué tal compañeros? ¿Cómo están? No se les escucha. Solo hola, hola, hola. Estamos, hola, una, dos, uno, dos. Hello, hello, good evening, everyone. Hey, good evening. Hola. Good evening, hola, hola en Spanish. Hola, hello. Hello, hello in English. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Great to see you. Great. Excellent. Nice hello, to see hola. you. Hello, good evening. You? Welcome. Is, is my audio fine? Do you hear me well? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect, perfect. Great yeah. to see you. Uh, we Today we are going to be getting this new course with you. Okay, I see some familiar faces. Uh, <laughs> some familiar faces. You were with me in the previous course. And I'm glad to see you. And the new ones, of course, glad to see you too. To the new ones. A los nuevos, ¿verdad? With me. All right. Okay. Excellent. Uh, th today we are gonna begin this model that is intermediate one. Intermediate one. You are not in the pre-intermediate anymore. Ya no está en el pre-intermedio. Ahora está exactamente en el intermediate. Okay. How was your mini vacation after finishing classes? How was it? ¿Cómo estuvo la mini vacación? Good, fine, very good, Can very I good. Say, okay, very good. good, good. All right, okay, perfect. Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Okay, yes. let's repeat. Interesting. Yes. All right, good. Jenny Elizabeth, teacher and classmates. She says good evening, present Jenny Elizabeth. Okay, uh, you can use the chat if you have issues. Uh, with the microphone. Remember, you can use the chat, no problem. In Zoom chat. All right. Okay, uh, let's begin already eight o'clock in one minute. How do you feel to be in the intermediate? How do you feel about that? ¿Cómo se siente estar en intermediate? Que va avanzando. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, today is my first time in, in, the, in this course. Okay, cool. Okay, first time in the course. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That's great. That's great too. All right. Uh -huh. Who else came us? Me siento feliz. I feel happy, teacher. I feel nice because I am in a new course. Yes, I feel happy and I want to learn more in English. More things. Okay, más cosas yeah. in English. Of course, yes. that's excellent. I feel, I feel a little suspense. You feel a little suspense. suspense. Como, sus, como un poquito de suspenso. Ah, you feel suspense. Ah, okay, I get you. I get you now. Okay, perfect. Great. But this coming, this coming little, little is not easy. <laughs> no, don't worry. We are going to continue practicing in English. Remember, you know, uh, recuerde, ya sabe. Lo que hace yes. falta es practice, practice, practice. All right. Yes. Okay, no es que no sepa, sí sabe, pero la práctica. Okay, we are gonna be into that. Vamos a estar en eso, no problem. Okay, uh, 17 people, uh, welcome. The first ones that I see, the new ones, uh, welcome, Ivania Garcia. Uh, let's see, uh, Sandra Vasquez, I guess she's new with me. Francis Irela, welcome to. Uh, Nelson Rolando, uh, welcome. Ana Mayora, okay, good. Welcome to this course. Uh, Vanessa Avalos, I remember her, okay. Alberto Valdez, welcome. Okay, Jamie Rosibel, welcome to, welcome everyone. Okay, no matter. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay, perfect. All right, Thank let you. me. Thank you. Okay, Arnulfo, great too. Nice to see you. All right, guys, let me share the screen with you in this moment. Let me see. At the beginning of the class, I give some recommendations, but we're going to check them in a moment. All right. Uh, let's see. Do you see my computer screen? Yes. Do you? Yes, teacher. 
Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right. Just let me check something else about the controls so we can have everything working fine. Do not. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, this is uh, the welcome. You're welcome to this new course, class one. And this is the intermediate one. Okay. Uh, voy a comenzar así rapidito. Que no le dé pena. Ok. Aquí no se vale tener pena de, de practicar, de hablar. Tiene dudas, preguntas, questions. Ok. You can ask. Remember. Siempre recuerde, puede preguntar. Ok. Welcome everyone. Let's see. Uh, this is the course. Can you read it? Lo puede leer. Or pronounce. Intermedio. Intermedio. Ok. Ok. Good. Try, try, try it out. Trate. Ok, good. Intermediate. Intermediate. Intermediate, repeat. One. Intermediate. Intermediate. One. Intermediate. One, correct. Vamos a enfatizar mucho. Intermediate model one. Model one, correct. Vamos a enfatizar mucho en la pronunciation. All right. En la pronunciación, es bien importante. Ah, los que ya estuvieron conmigo antes. Ya saben, ¿verdad? Eh, lo que podemos usar. Y los que no, pues, lo vamos a enseñar. All right. Uh, let's Ooh. see. Success. Let's see a uh, uh, volunteer that I will request for the reading. Please, Jancy Andrea, the lucky one, las, la afortunada para leer this phrase. Okay. All right. Success is, your success depends upon whether whether mm -hmm. you work hard or not. Okay. And what is the meaning of that? What, what is the meaning? ¿Qué significa, guys? Sin traducir, ¿verdad? Solo interpretar. No translation. ¿Qué se entiende de ahí? Tu éxito depende de... De sí, sobre... ¿verdad? <laughs> Whether no sé qué. Okay. Sí. Okay, weather, weather no es de clima, ¿verdad? Este es different. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Upon weather, de si usted trabajo es trabaja duro, duro uh -huh. o, o si no. Okay, así eso es. Okay, look at the sumo, the sumo guy. Mire el, el de sumo, ahí va. ¿eh? Ay, casi no quiere, pero poco a poco, ¿ve? ¿eh? Va avanzando, ¿ve? ¿eh? Okay, ahí está working hard. Así que así tenemos que ser nosotros, ¿verdad? Meterle, meterle, hasta llegar. All right. And that is the, the phrase, today's class, in this phrase. All right. Let's continue. General indications. Uh, let's see. Nelson, Rolando, please, can you read the ones that we have at your, let's see, left or right? That depends. Good evening. Left. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, general indications. Pardon. Your complete name in Zoom uh, platform. Platform sample. Sample uh, Miguel Antonio Lopez. Okay, that's a full name. Okay, good. Uh, next. Camera on all the time during the meeting. Okay, like camera encendida durante toda la meeting. Yes. A good place for a better connect concentration. Okay, a ah, quiet, let's repeat, quiet. quiet. A, quiet, yes, a quiet, a quiet place. Un lugar ajá, de silencio, quieto. Okay, good. Connect. Connect at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. or no 9, okay? 9 is when we finish, cuando terminamos. Or? Or five minutes early before the class. Okay, early, cinco minutos temprano antes de la clase. B, B, attentive, uh, attentive. attentive. Yeah, what attentive. is attentive? Attentive. What is attentive? Okay, attentive, attentive guys. Attentive. Attention. Pay attention. Okay, attentive. Estar atento. All right. Good. No distraction. Phone, TV, video, etc. Okay. No distractions. Let's leave a WhatsApp, Facebook. Twitter, Instagram for 
after the class or for later, because those are distractions. Hay que evitar las distracciones en clase, okay? And this one is? Active participation is always important. Okay, the more you practice, the more you participate, the class is going to be better. Entre más se practique y más se eh, participe, la clase va a ser más, más mejor, no, right? Más mejor, no, está mal. Mejor, right? Only mejor. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Nelson. Francis, uh, hi, Francis. How is it going? Good. Como le va? How is it going in formal, in English? All right. Good? Oh, very good. Okay, very good. Excellent. Can you help me with these ones? Sí. Eh, solo que porcentaje, ¿cómo se pronuncia en inglés? Ah, percentage. 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 Repeat it. Can you percentage. try? Okay. Percentage. Okay, 80. 80. 80 percentage in some classes. Okay. 80% hey. percentage mm -hmm. at least in platform assignments. Assignments. Six assignments. Six, six, six minutes class according with the program. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Okay. Eh, 80% en las clases de Zoom. Okay. Acá, más que todo, tiene que tratar de no faltar. 80% at least in the platform assignments, cuando esté haciendo los assignments en la plataforma, tiene que completar por lo menos, ¿verdad? 80. Y 60 minutes class according with the program. It's a one hour class. So, means 60 minutes. 60 minutes de clase, una hora. Okay, thanks, thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, let's see. Um, let's see, Petro, Josué. Josué Neftali, doubts? Yes. Can you read it? Do uh, that's or question. That's or question asked at any time. Mm -hmm. A question is a question. Always ask. Okay, thanks. Doubts, dudas o preguntas. Pregunte en cualquier momento. Una pregunta es siempre. Una pregunta, siempre pregunte. Okay, and that is what do we have as an indication. Siempre hay que preguntar. All right, and that is me. Uh, we are going to be introducing ourselves in a moment. This is not very important in this moment. Okay, and in this course, in este curso, we are going to practice for areas, in areas that are related in English. In this course, we will improve the number one. Speaking. Is speaking. ¿Y por qué speaking está en el primero, teacher? Because we need to speak, okay? <laughs> podemos ver mucho grammar, podemos ver muchos ejercicios, muchos videos, listening, pero lo que ayuda bastante es practicar el speaking. Speaking. Or repetition. And number two. Listening. The listening. We are going to train our ears. Vamos a entrenar los oídos. Listening. Ajá, with the listening. Cuando un compañero o un classmate está preguntando algo, ahí está, pay attention. Se pone atención para, a ver, a ver qué nos dice, ¿verdad? Qué nos quiere preguntar. Uh, number three. Skill grammar. number three. Grammar. Híjole, grammar. teacher. Ah, oh, no me llega grammar. I don't like grammar. Do you like grammar, guys? Be honest. Do you like grammar? I like it. So, so. Uh, so, so. All right. Uh -huh. You oh, like it. Okay. It's very interesting. It's, it's very interesting. Difficult. It's very difficult. Okay, that's a valid. It's a valid. Okay, good. All right. But remember, grammar is the base of every language. Es la base de todo lenguaje. Si no hay grammar, oh, problems, problems. Okay. Uh, number four. Practice. Either practice. The practice, yes. When you study all this, cuando usted estudia todas estas, but you don't practice, I am, oh, more problems. Hay más problemas ahí. Pero practice es después de la clase, en su tiempo libre, cuando se pone a estudiar, a repasar. Ahí entra la practice. All right. Yeah, questions at the moment? No questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. Let's advance because the, the hour 
goes fast. La hora se va rápido. Tools. Tools. To use. To use. use. Herramientas use. para usar. To Which use. ones? I use. prefer these three. Yo prefiero esas tres. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to use them. Le voy a enseñar cómo usarlas. Uh, there are two dictionaries or three. Okay. But Google Translate. Is not, para, is not for paragraphs. No es para párrafos, solo para saber, ¿verdad? Ciertas palabras ahí. Eh, these two are dictionaries. Both of them are very good. Los que estuvieron conmigo ya les enseñé cómo se usa, ¿sí o no? ¿Se recuerda? ¿Sí? Yes. Ah, ok. Yes. Ok, y para los que no, ya vamos a ver cómo lo usamos. All right. En the links, ¿y cómo uso los links? Ah, aquí está. Solo le... Pone acá y le da clic y le abre el link. All right. Let's see. Uh, intermediate the model one. Welcome, everyone. One more time. We are going to watch a short video because this is the first class. So we are going to play it. Lo vamos a dar play. And then we are going to continue with the video or with the class. Okay. Attention, attentive, please. We are going to. Watch this video. Mi tarea es facilitar la universidad porque los alumnos tienen que lidiar con El Insaforp ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaforp ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insaport trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional Insafor, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los Centros de Formación Fijos, donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del Insafor, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de Insafor y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente 
cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra las mujeres. Posteriormente, el Instafor desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos. Y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma, el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. Okay, that was a short video. Now we're gonna begin with the next slide after that. Let's see. Okay, let's get to know each other a little bit. Introduce yourself. Okay, I'm gonna begin introducing myself with you. After that, uh, you will have some participation. Okay, what are we gonna say? ¿Qué vamos a decir? Uh, we are gonna say, can you read the words? We are gonna say that. The name. The name. The uh -huh. H. All right. The H. The H. Race. The race. The place uh, you live. Marital. Marital start. Okay. That's a marital status to you. If you have children. Children, children and pets. Okay. Pets. Good. I will begin because. Children and pets. I have children and pets. The last one. Okay. My name is Luis. Uh, my last name is Koto. We're going to be in order. I am 36 uh, <coughs> years old. I live in San Salvador. I am not married yet. And I don't have children. No children. And we have in, in our house, we have two pets. We have two cats. And that's it. Okay, pretty short. See? It's not difficult. All right, uh, Oscar, can you introduce yourself with the class? Hello, my name is Oscar Guardado. I am 43 years old. I live in San Salvador. I am married and I have two children, uh, one boy, uh, with nine years and the little girl is four years so i am no hat pet okay i don't i don't have i don't i don't have yes thank you thank you okay perfect because that is simple present we don't use the verb to be but no 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 not good not no not bad sorry not bad no so much okay I don't, I don't have pets. Okay, perfect. And uh, let's see, Jamie raised uh, the hand. Okay, Jamie. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Jamie and my last name is Lopez. I am 22 years old. I live in Ciudad Arsa. Uh, no estoy casada. <laughs> Okay, in English is I'm not married, no estoy. I'm not married. I'm not married. All right. Um, children? No children. I have no, no puede decir, I don't have, puede usar el auxiliary don't, o puede decir, I have no, porque no es negative, se puede también. Um, I don't have children. All right, pets? Um, I have three cats. Three, I have two cats mm -hmm. and you have one more. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jamie. And next, uh, Arnulfo and then Jancy. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Saul Arnulfo. My last name is Mengibar. I am 25 years old. I live in Chalatenango. 
Um, I have a girlfriend, but I'm not married yet. Um, I don't have children. A pet, I had a dog and a cat. Okay, thank you very much, Arnulfo. Thank you. Okay, if you check, I don't have children. No es, no tiene este, no tiene ese, este noun, así es irregular. I have no children. No se dice children's, porque no, no es como los demás, ¿verdad? Pets, sí, aquí sí lleva pets. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, Arnulfo. Next, uh, Jancy. Okay. Hey, good evening. My name is Jancy Andrea. I'm 16 and I live in La Paz, Zacatecoluca. I'm single and I'm just 16. I'm only 16, so I don't have any children and I don't have any pets. No children, no pets. Oh, okay. Okay, but that's fine, no problem. Uh, next, next participant with the introduce, introduction okay. yourself. We have five minutes to practice this. Sandra, okay, go ahead. Good uh, evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Sandra Campos. Um, I am 36 years old and I live in Lourdes. Um, I don't marry. Uh, but I have one, uh, I have two children, one girl and one boy. I have different pets, two dogs, um, five turtles, kitty, oh. rabbits. <laughs> wow, really? Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you very much. 30 rabbits. Oh, wow. Two yes. dogs, five turtles, and parrots, pericos. No, three cats. No, three only. cats only. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Alberto Valdez, you are the next one. Hello, everyone. Everyone, my name is Alberto. My last name is Valdez. I'm 35 years old. I live in Ilopango. I'm single yet. Uh, I have two children. Uh, I don't have any pets. Okay, perfect. Thank you very, very much for your introduction. For your classmates, Pedro Portillo, your turn. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my, hi. Name is, my name is Pedro Portillo. Pedro, Pedro, uh, my last name is Portillo. Uh, I am... Uh, 51 years old. I live in Lourdes, Colón. Uh, I'm married. I have two children, okay, girls and boy. Uh, I don't have pets. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, uh, Francis, raise the hand your hand. Your turn. And good evening. My name is Francis. My last name Mendoza. I am 28 years old. I live in San Salvador. I'm single. I don't have children, but I have two nephews and I love them. And I have a cat. Okay, thank you very much. Two nephews. Okay, good. Ana Mayora, next. Okay, Ana, your turn to introduce with, uh, with the class. Or maybe Pablo, Pablo Reyes. Hi, uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, my name is Pablo, uh, last name is uh, Pineda. Uh, um, I, I live in Santa Ana. Uh, uh, estoy casado con... <laughs> Okay, I am, I am, where to be, I am married. I am married. Okay. I am married. In, um, I have uh, one children. Okay, one child. Um, child is singular. I debe ser child because it's singular. Okay. I have one child. Okay, I have one child. Um, 
I have a uh, one uh, dog. One dog. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, the last one, the last participant, the the first one that speaks. The primero que hable. The last one. Because we need to advance. Uh -huh. One more, one more, no. one more. Hello, hello. Hello. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, my name is Daisy Hernandez. I am 23 years old. I live in Santiago, New Mexico City, in the Department oh. of La Paz. Um, I am single. I have any children, uh -huh. but I have six cats and two dogs. Oh, okay, six cats and two dogs instead of children. Okay, no problem. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, pues no, hombre, ya están listos para hablar con un gringo o gringa. Está bien ahí en el tunco. Okay, great. Thank you guys for participating. Great. Uh, okay, just let me see something. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, the, the rest of you. Next class, we are going to continue introduce. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. We are going to study tonight. Uh, we are going to review and study the structure about the... Verb to be. The verb to be. Okay. The verb to be. Correct. The verb to be is very important in English. It's very important that you remember how to, how to use it. Ok, uh, microphone. Cuando no está participando, hay que revisar el microphone. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you very much. Yes, be careful with the microphone. Ok, good. Ok, I was saying that we need to study the verb to be and remember how to use the verb to be. Ok, the structure is not complicated. I see that you know. Ya veo que usted ya puede, ya puede, puede hablar con un gringo. Okay, uh, the verb to be in the affirmative is, can you, can you help me with uh, the sentences? I was born, I was born, in, Santana. born in Santana. Okay, pretty easy. Uh, okay, where were you born? Uh, Irving, Irving Hi. Grande, hello. Are you connected in class? Irving Grande calling Irving, llamando a Irving. Nope. Uh huh. Neftali, where were you born? I was I was born in San Salvador. Ah, okay. I was born in San Salvador too. Uh, where were you born, Alberto Valdez? Where were you born? Mm, me too. I was born in San Salvador. Ah, okay. San Salvador. Jenny Elizabeth. Uh huh. Where were you born? Question, where to be, where to be question, where were you born? I was born in Sonsonate. Sonsonate, near the Cameron, cerca del Cameron, no? Yes. Uh, oh, really? 40, 40 minutes. Ah, 40, 40 minutes far. Okay, good, that's excellent. Ivania Garcia, where were you born? I was born in Santiago de Norco. Santiago Nunualco, Jancy. I was born in Zacatecolica. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for your answers. See, the affirmative sentences is for, for the subject I, I was born. The next one is. You were. You were. You were. were. You were. You were. Okay. 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 Next is you changes. Aquí si cambia, right? Next. It was, was born. Okay, good. Yeah. She? She was born. She was born. She was born. The complement is the same. The complement is the same, right? It was born. It was born. You were born. You were born. You were born. You were born. Okay. What is the difference between this you and this you? Because we have two. What's the difference? Who knows? You, uh, a singular. You singular, singular. Uh, one person. And you? Singular, plural. You plural as a group, correct. Okay, that is a difference, pretty good. And next is? We, we, we were born. We were born, born in, Santana. in Santana. Okay, nacimos, right, nacimos, we were. And? 
They were. They were. They were. Okay. That is the verb to be in the simple past. Okay. Don't forget verb to be in the simple past. All right. In the negative, can you tell me the negative uh, structure? Do you remember the negative structure? All right. I wasn't born. I wasn't born. Okay. I was. Was not. Let's repeat. You wasn't. Weren't. No, the compliment. The compliment. You weren't. You weren't. You weren't. Okay, and you can mention any compliment, cualquier compliment. But the important is that you use the correct verb to be in the negative according with the subject. Okay, in English, the, the structure is pretty clear. Es muy clara la estructura. Okay, it's only the practice. All right. And the questions, how to make questions in the verb with the verb to be in the in the simple past. Who was remembers? I, uh, was I born? Was I born? Was I born in Santana? Uh -huh. Okay, Where when you read you? questions, cuando se leen preguntas, at the end, uh, the emphasis goes in this part, el emphasis va aquí, porque es pregunta, was I born in Santa Ana? The intonation is important. Next. Were you born in Santa Ana? Were you born in Santa Ana? Were you? Was he born? Was he? Was he born? Was he? Was he born? Was he born? Was he born? Were you? Were you born? Were we? Where they born or in Santa Ana? All right. And that is how you make questions. You only change the position of the subject in the verb to be in the simple past. All right. Were we in class yesterday, guys? Were we? Were we in class? No, we weren't. Correct? Yes. No, we weren't. Yes, with me yesterday. <laughs> no, 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 no. The answer is no. No, we weren't. We weren't in class. Okay. Sorry. Were you were you at home? Were you at home yesterday, Monday at 6 p.m.? Were you at home at that yes, time? Yes, I, I yes I was. Yes, yes, you were. Okay. Ella responde, yes, I was, porque si corresponde. Pero yo digo, yes. She was. Yes, she, she, was. Was. No. she was. She was. Yes, you. Porque yes. me refiero ah, yes, a ella. Ah, no. Ahí ah, va dependiendo was. de en qué dirección sí. va la comunicación. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Elizabeth, were you uh, at home? Were you at home at 6 p.m.? Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres, were you? Uh, yes, I was. Yes, yes, you were. Ah, okay. Ajá, uh -huh. ya responde. Yes, I was, porque así debe responder. Y si yo me refiero a ella, no le voy a decir, yes, she was. No, a alguien más le tendría que decir, yes, she was. Pero como le respondo a ella, ah, yes, you were, you were at home. All right, good. Okay. Uh, questions at, at the moment? This is a refresh. Es como un refresh uh, with ever to be. Eso solo se tiene que ir repitiendo y estudiando poco a poco. Si tiene problemas con esta parte, ¿verdad? Pero aquí se la puse todita, todita la estructura, para que solo vaya repeating, repeating, repeating. Okay, eh, questions? Questions? No. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, no problem then. Next, we have a different uh, simple past, but not with the verb to be. We have the other simple past. What is the, the other simple past that you remember from the models? El otro simple past que recuerda de los módulos, ¿cuál es? Which one? Which one is it? Uh, let me see. Did. Ah, uh, did. Do. Did do. Do, no. Do is for the simple did present. The present. Yes, did. Present. Did, yes. Did. Solo did. did. Yes. Okay, did we are going to check that. Vamos a revisar eso ahorita. A structure, simple, past, tense. 
Okay, simple past tense. One important thing, una cosa importante. We never mixed. Nunca revolvemos. We never mix the simple past with the verb to be and the simple past tense. Okay, we never mix them. Nunca se ponen juntos. Va a haber alguna ocasión en que, ah, estoy viendo verb to be y después simple past tense, pero va a depender. Okay. But generally, pero generalmente, we don't mix them. No los eh, ponemos juntos. All right. Uh, let's see. In the affirmative, affirmative sentences. In the simple past, no simple present. I ate, I ate vegetables. I ate. What is I ate? I ate, I ate vegetables. Comí. Oh, yo comí, right? Because yeah. the verb is in simple past. El verbo está en simple past. Yeah. Next. Okay, very good. In the simple past, all verbs are in the in the same way todos van lo mismo see ¿sí? eight 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 no matter the subject no importa el subject qué pasa what happens with with the simple present remember simple simple present tense qué pasa con el simple present yo digo I I eat next what is the next one qué sigue um you eat you eat, you eat. correct you eat he eat. 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 He missing he something. He ate. 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 He no se necesita hacer eso. Only in the simple present. Let's finish. She? It. it. Uh -huh. The same, right? She? It. She eats. eats. Okay. She eats. It. Eats. It, it, eats. it eats. Okay. Next. You, you eat. eat. You eat. No. No, no right? No is no. correct. Yeah. And the next subject, subject is? We eat. We eat, eat. eat correct? And they eat. They, eat. they eat. Okay, in the simple teacher, but the simple past is difficult. Porque dice que es difficult si no hay que conjugar. Solo se pone. Uh -huh. uh, we, only, we only use the same verb in the simple past. Okay, we don't need to use the rules. Ahí no necesitamos usar rules. Uh, only the simple past uh, on the verb. Okay, just a moment because something happens with the presentation is crashing. Está trabando, is crashing. Para decir que algo se está trabando, pero en la computer. Crashing. Decimos crash, usamos el verbo crash. 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 Is crashing. Ajá, se está trabando, etc. Okay, está fallando. Uh, just give me one moment. I'm going to try to reopen the presentation. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to do something else. Voy a hacer algo más. Okay, I'm going to open the task manager. When this happens, you should do this. Cuando esto pasa, hay que hacer esto. Okay. Then I'm going to reopen it again. And let's see. Voila. Oh, but the format, the format is different. <laughs> ah, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we can continue. No, it's difficult to read, right? Is it difficult <laughs> to read? Is it? We Question. Can, we can. Yes, a little bit. A little, a little bit, right? Okay, let's <laughs> check the design, the background in white. Hey, what was going on with this? Okay, we have Houston, we have an issue. Just let me check if I can fix it. Déjeme revisar si está, se lo puedo arreglar. 
Uh, ta -ta -ta any, okay, I'm going to leave uh, which format? Different format. This one. I can no problem. Okay. Um, okay. Let's continue. In the negative, what happens in the negative? I, I, guess I didn't eat. You? You didn't eat. He? He didn't eat. She? She didn't eat. He didn't eat. didn't eat. You didn't eat. We didn't eat. And they didn't eat. And this is the negative part in the simple past. Simple past tense. Is it difficult? The structure in English in the simple past? No, it's not. No, it isn't. It isn't no, it at all. Isn't. In absolute, okay? It it's only paying attention and following the, the structure. Siguiendo la estructura. Didn't in the negative and eat. And look at, look at that. The same verb in the present. ¿Por qué se usa el present y no el simple past in the verb? Uh, okay, because the auxiliary is did, that is already in the past. Just in the past. I don't ah, need to use. I didn't eat. I didn't eat. Proyectándome al futuro, póngale por lo menos. Okay. Busca el conocimiento. Así, voy a dar algo bueno. Hello. Careful with the microphone. Uh, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, Elizabeth, the microphone was activated. Okay, hay que tener cuidadito ahí con el micro. Okay, see, no complication in the simple past. In the question, how can you make questions? Mm -hmm. We use the auxiliary. Okay, did I eat Okay, did I, correct, did I? Did, did I eat vegetables? Did you eat vegetables? Did he eat? Did she eat? Did she eat? Did it eat? Did it eat? Hey, qué raro suena, right? Did it eat? Did it eat? Correct. Did you eat? Did we eat vegetables? Did they eat? Okay, good. Did you eat campero chicken uh, last night? Did you eat campero chicken? Mm -mm. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, you didn't. I didn't. Okay, what did you eat last night as a dinner? Last night, I, I, I ate pupusas. You ate, ah, really? You ate pupusas. Okay, ate good. Pupusas. Uh -huh. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? What did you eat? Uh, and I ate pizza. I ate, ah, I delicious ate. pizza for dinner. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, guys, see? The structure is pretty clear. Muy claro, right? Yes, no? Yeah, yeah. It is, it is yes, pretty clear. Yes. It's yes. only practice. Ya ve, solo necesita practice. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh. Después voy a explicar qué hacemos con la presentación. Simple past questions and answers, indication. Let's read. Identify, Identify with the questions and answer them. Ah, okay. Okay. No is identify. There is a misspelling or a mispronunciation there. Identify. Ah, okay. Okay. Perfect. Identify. How Identify. how can I how can I be sure? Como puedo estar seguro? Okay. There we go. Aquí vamos con las con las tools. Okay, I have these tools. I click on this one. Le doy click a esta. Okay. That, that is the Macmillan Dictionary. When I have doubts, cuando yo tengo dudas, I do it. Yo lo hago. When I have doubts about, um, I don't have to pronounce this word. Okay. Uh, okay. Ba, ba, ba. I type it. I hit enter. And see? Oh, this is the grammar, grammar word, okay? And this one identify is a pronunciation of the word. Identify. Can you repeat it? Identify. 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 Okay, identify. 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 Next time that you see the word, la siguiente vez que vea la palabra, ya no va a decir 
Identify. Identify. Casi, casi, right? Va a decir. Identify. 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 Okay. It's pretty important this. Es importante esto, que le ponga atención, that you pay attention to the grammar, because grammar is important, but focus on the pronunciation too. Because when you speak with, uh, with people, that makes a difference. Eso es la diferencia, la pronunciación. Okay. Pay attention to this. And this is the website or the dictionary that I use. Este es el que uso. All right. Puedo usar este otro. Ah, okay. Let's see. Let's open the second one. Okay. Um, this one is uh, this one is British. Okay. From from England. Este de Inglaterra. And this is American. But both are very good. Ambos son muy buenos. Let's see. This is a different one, but it has pronunciation too. También tiene pronunciación, sí. Identify. Let's repeat. Identify. I. Identify. 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 Okay. It pronounces it differently. Lo pronuncia un poquito diferente porque es American. Identify. And this is uh, from England. This is the England. Identify. Identify. Like that. Okay. And those are the two tools. Have you seen them? Have you seen them? ¿Las había visto? Yes, no? No, I didn't. Mm. Okay, but they are pretty good. Ahí sí son muy buenas para usar. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's continue. We have 10, 10 minutes yet. I todavía it's 10 not, minutes. Yes, I'm question? sorry. I have a question. Yeah, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes uh, I'm new in your class. Uh, All right. But uh, I, I don't know how is the... Uh, your that presentation you share on the WhatsApp group or is in the platform? Okay, good question. Okay, la voy a contestar ahorita porque los minutos son pocos. Eh, solo una vez envió esta presentación. De veras, teacher, solo una vez. Yes. Okay, porque cuando le envío al, al WhatsApp, la presentación ya tiene los links, los que les, les mostré. Así que eh, cualquier cualquier en cualquier momento usted puede acceder a las tools a estas tools de acá a los dictionaries a Google Translate o cualquier otro link eh, que se use en clase porque ya está en la presentación y una vez tenga la primera presentación tendrá los links de, de cualquier acceso ok ¿Dónde voy a... está la presentación excuse me where is the presentation I will send it uh, to the uh, WhatsApp. Yes, uh, after the class. As, después de la clase la envío. Okay, voy a explicar esto también eh, rapidito. Okay, just give me one moment that we are having issues with this PowerPoint tool. I don't know why. Okay, just a moment. Okay, esta es, aquí dice links with the next, can you read it? Yes. The next links uh -huh. you will have the main access to download the classes presentations. English corporative platform and more. and more. Okay, el primer link. Okay, aprovecho para explicarlo de una sola vez en español para que quede claro. El primer link es del Google Drive. Si le, usted le da clic, lo va a enviar. Eh, quiero ver. Mm, no es esta ok, creo que la otra la tenía bueno, pero cuando usted le dé clic a ese link, lo va a enviar a una carpeta donde va a ver las clases de, del curso ahí las subo yo, para que las pueda descargar, por eso le indico que la primera presentación se la envió al whatsapp y después las demás las pueden descargar desde acá, acá está la carpeta ya ¿Sí ve? Esta es la primera clase, class one, it has a date, ya tiene la fecha de hoy, 15 de noviembre de 2022. Y el curso, intermediate, model one, and the time, y la hora. ¿Se entiende? ¿Sí? Yes. Ok, yes. lo único que va a hacer es solo darle clic, darle clic. Ahí voy a revisar yo que lo envíe a la carpeta correcta, porque tengo problemas aquí con... 
con PowerPoint. El siguiente, el siguiente link es de la plataforma. No encuentro la plataforma, no sé cómo acceder. Igual, ¿verdad? Se va, abre la presentación, le da clic. Y solo debe poner su email en password, la que le hicieron, ¿verdad? Para el acceso. Ahí está. Y el tercer link. Ah, el tercer link es abre eh, la lista de videos. Cuando quiere repasar la clase, acá va a estar. Todos los videos de cada clase de, de la noche. ¿Se entiende? ¿Sí? Hello. Yes. 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 Ok. Ok. Así que en la presentación que le envié después de la clase, ahí van a estar los links al final. Todos están al final. All right. Uh, let's continue then with this. We are in this part. Okay. Uh -huh. What is the indication? What is the indication? Simple past tense. Simple past tense. Indication. Identify. Answer them. Answer them. Okay. Answer them. Okay. Question. What is the question? Where were you born? Where were you born? Where were you born? Okay. What is the tense? What is the tense? Simple uh, present, so future. Simple past. past. Simple past, but the simple past. Uh -huh. no. The simple past. In question of the verb to be, of the verb to be, porque si solo dice, ah, es a simple past, I would understand, entendería que simple past the the simple past tense, but it's not. Is a simple past verb about be. the verb to be? Yes. Ah, uh, in the answer, the answer. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? I was. Born. I was. I was. Born. Right? Okay. I was, 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 okay, just an example, all right, just an example, good, that is the first one, let's see the next one, where did you, can you, can you, where did you, where did you, look at the question, Where did you celebrate your last your birthday? Last birthday. Uh -huh. Okay, tell me, where did you celebrate it? I didn't celebrate my birthday. <laughs> you didn't, why not? You should celebrate birthdays. Okay, but the, the answer is correct. Although it's in negative, but it's correct. Aunque está en negative, está correct. I didn't. Didn't celebrate. 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 Mm -hmm. What did she my say at the end? ¿Qué dijo al final? My birthday. My, my last birthday. My last birthday. Okay. And that is correct. Okay. If she didn't celebrate it, that is correct. Si no la celebró, está bien. And next. Next question. Were you at you home at home last you night? At at home last night at 10 p.m.? 10 p.m. Yes, of okay. course. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. yes. I was. Yes, I yes. did, I or yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Uh -huh. yes, I Correct. Was because the question is with a verb to be. Were you at home last night at 10 p.m.? Yes, I was yes, sleeping. I yes. Yes, I was. was. Yes, yes, I was. Ah, uh -huh. no es yes, I did. Porque si fuera con did, la pregunta tendría que tener did. did. Pero no tiene did. Tiene where, where. Okay. Simple pass of the verb to be. Yes, I was. Okay, and the last one. Who, Who was you, your best friend? Who was your last friend in school? Okay, uh huh. Best friend was okay, good. And the name, <laughs> yeah, mention the name because the the question is open. We need the uh, we need details. Necesitamos detalles. Es abierta okay. la pregunta. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say friend. my best friend was mm -hmm. Alberto. 
Alberto. Oh, okay, Alberto. Okay, good. Excellent. And that is the correct answer. Okay. Uh, one tip, one tip. Uh, siempre no se lo olvide. Scan, scan the question. Escanear la pregunta es ver si tiene simple past, simple present, auxiliary, si tiene un moral verb para poderle contestar. Okay. That is one tip. All right, the time is gone. One minute to nine. Okay, tomorrow we are going to do a small practice about the simple past of the verb to be and the simple past tense. Those two, esos dos. But tomorrow because of the time. All right. Uh, All right. Guys, uh, my pleasure to meet you. My pleasure to be with you in this new course. We are going to connect tomorrow at the same time at eight o'clock all right thank you teacher for okay. me too thank okay you. Good nice night. to meet you guys thank you bye bye thank you good for night connecting. i see you tomorrow good night. Teacher. night see you Class tomorrow day. of course pleasure to bye. my pleasure too i will send bye. you the the class to the to the whatsapp group don't worry see you have a good night, nice night. Bye. good Everybody. night see you take care bye bye sweet dreams sweet dreams You too. Thank you. Thank you very much. The same to you. Thank you.